So this question is a simplified question. We know that because it is short. Simplified questions are typically between one and three lines long. And because we have an expression provided here. Simplified questions will either have an expression or an equation. So like the strategy says, all we are going to do is simplify the expression that's been provided for us. And we're going to do that by distributing the x to the fourth across the parentheses. If you do that, we can actually answer this question relatively quickly because we see that the very first multiplication here, this x to the fourth times 3x squared, will give you a 3x to the sixth power. And there is only one answer that has 3x to the sixth power in it. And therefore, b must be the correct answer. But if you wanted to continue on just to make sure, we'd say, okay, well, x to the fourth times 9x. Well, that's a positive 9x to the fifth power. And then x to the fourth times negative 8. Well, that's a negative or minus 8x to the fourth power. Right? So the answer that matches here is choice B. Now, if you thought that choice C was the correct answer, right? We have the 9x to the fifth. We have the minus 8x to the fourth. The only real difference between B and C is the eighth power here versus the sixth power. Let's just remind ourselves that whenever we're multiplying, let's go x to the fourth times x to the second. Whenever we're multiplying two terms that have the same base, right, in this case, x, and they have exponents, right, we have a 4 and a 2, what we are going to do with those exponents is we're going to add the exponents, not multiply. And that's why we should have an x to the sixth power, or for us, of course, a 3x to the sixth power versus a 3x to the eighth power. So just also for a little bit of review, if it were x to the fifth divided by x to the second, we would subtract the exponents, right? So 5 minus 2, you go to 3, we'd have x to the third power. And the only time we do multiply is if we have a power, like x to the fourth, raised to another power, right? So close parentheses and then second power. In that case, we'd have x to the 4 times 2, and that is the only case where we multiply and get an x to the 8th power. So hopefully that short review was also helpful if you were thinking that choice C was the better answer.